Well, um, good, ever, good afternoon, everybody. It's April, Sunday, April 23rd. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we're out bailing some cane, or hay grazer, as some people call it. Um, this was Wind Road last fall. They had intentions of grazing cattle on it or getting it bailed last fall and the weather didn't cooperate for them to get it bailed and it didn't work out for them to graze it so they've uh, they decided to get it bailed this spring and it is dry enough there's a few wet spots but I think it's actually not bad looking at it um, it's not near as bad as I thought it was gonna be when they called me and asked me to come up and help them bail them bail it they're straight ahead of me there that's the guy's son. Um, but yeah, we're just rolling. We got 20, only this will be 30 bales done right as of now. Once I get my door shut, I'll switch over to 30. 30 bales. And uh, the field's a little rough. It's actually a little wet. I'm glad I got my duels on. They got them on a little overkill, but I don't actually even take my duels off anymore for bailing. I need my duels on for drilling, and I drill cover crop and stuff all summer, so I kind of just I kind of just leave them on. But this field is rough, so hopefully I, I don't bounce too much. Uh oh, I think we're on the same windrow. Oh, there we go. He switched over. But that seems to be working all right. Kind of just got a start on it here. Beeping because my window's not even, or my bale's not even. But it's hard to make pretty bale or even bales when they're small windrows. Well, they're not small windrows by no means, but they're so compact. They're not raked together or fluffed up or nothing, so. But this is a new Holland, um, New Holland uh, 7090 crop specialty, and uh, it's got the heavy duty teeth in it, and it just really eats up the stuff here. There's old John Deere nailer. 569 but anyhow we'll kind of add to this as we go here this is I bet I'm the, probably the first one in this area to be bailing um, granted it's stuff that was cut last fall so it isn't like it's growed this year but it'll work Feed is feed, I guess. I think they'll probably end up running it through a hay grinder, and when it's ran through the hay grinder, it seems to work pretty good um, as far as not being moldy and stuff. And even if it does have a little bit of mold, you can still feed it to the cows. You can see it's wet down in this bottom here a little bit. It's getting a little mud on the tires, bailing. That's awesome. Not every day you do that. But anyhow, I'll uh, add to this later on. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Well, hello everybody. Oh, it's about almost three o'clock now. Bailed uh, 95 bales once I get my door shut. And this field has gotten awfully wet the further I go to the north. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Um, I'm bailing in uh, four-wheel drive. I am leaving tracks almost all the way through the field. I asked the guy what he wanted me to do, and he said, "Bail, keep on a bailing." So um, that's what we're doing. This is custom work, by the way. This isn't my own stuff. Um, but yeah, it is awful soft yet. But. Kind of a nice day today, really. Um, wind's blowing terrible, but I guess it's not terrible, terrible. When I'm inside my tractor, I guess I don't feel the wind. 
there's a spot here that's not very good. But I'm leave skipping every other windrow and then the other baler was picking them up, but he got some net wrap wrapped up on something and he's been working on getting that off for quite a while and I'm a little afraid that he's gonna end up getting stuck. Because he hasn't hit the wet spots yet. And once he hits the wet spots, I think that he'll have a hard time. He doesn't have duels on his tractor, so. So it's gonna be interesting. Never fun to get stuck, but really not fun to get stuck pulling a baler. Need to get some teeth replaced on my on my pickup, but I wasn't intending to bail yet, so I wasn't too too worried about it. Um, but I guess it's it's working. It's picking stuff up pretty good, especially being matted down to the ground. It's picking it up all right, so can't complain too much here. But but yeah, that's how we're going. I don't think I'm gonna hit my record today. My record for bailing in one day by myself for bales wise, I'm bailing straw and I bailed uh, 550 bales by myself. Um, and then my highest record with two different people running the baler in 24 hour period, I bailed, or me and my brother bailed, uh, wow this is really soft. Me and my brother bailed 750 bales in 24 hours. So, anyhow, I don't think we're gonna hit the record because we're only at 96. Um, but when you get on a good field of straw and stuff you can roll 10 mile an hour on, you can get a lot, lot of area covered in a short period of time. Man, that's so soft. I don't like it at all. I don't like it one bit how soft that is. I'm gonna end up getting stuck myself. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna take you guys back down towards the other end with me and look at the bales that we've made. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. Awful, all getting awful, awful, awful sketchy. i to be careful not to hit my baler doors with my duels when I'm turning. Yeah, it's really wet. You can see how wet that is down there. That about plugged up right there. I think this will be the last time I go all the way through there. I don't like how wet that is. Wow. But making pretty good progress. There's not many bales right in this area. Wow, not good to throw bales when or mud when you're bailing. That's just generally not a good sign. Or leave tracks even. But yeah, you can look across there and see all the bales. There's gonna be quite a few bales out here. Once he gets caught up to me, that means there's gonna be, you know, like Two, 200 and some bales off of that and this field not really that big. I think it's like, I think this field is supposed to be like 80 acres but between the water holes and stuff I don't know how many acres we're actually going to get bailed. Actually but, but, but anyhow I guess I'll see what happens here the rest of the day and we'll add some more to her. Well, folks, here we are. We're gonna quit bailing. Um, the other guy plugged up because of the mud. I was getting too scared to go any further, but we got, I got 141 bales out here. And um, there you can see there's a lot of bales. Um, there's probably another 100 or so bales or maybe a little bit more than that that we can't get because it's too muddy, but Hopefully someone eventually can come up here. Maybe the sun will shine a little bit more and we'll get get them bailed. But for now we're done because I'm not going to risk getting stuck anymore. I don't I don't want to spend half my day trying to get a tractor and a baler out because I think if I get this big tractor stuck pulling this little, well, you know, generally, I mean, little baler, 
compared to like my planter and stuff, I think I'd be have a hard time getting it out because it must be a swamp. But anyhow, I guess thanks for watching everybody. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. Um, ground's a little cold for corn planting yet, so we're gonna hold off on that for a little while longer, but pretty soon there'll be corn planting. Corn planting will be before too long, so we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.